What's up guys? Today we will be reviewing the 2020 C8 Corvette. I am really excited to finally have one and if you guys have not seen the last video, the Bugatti Devo video, I will link that in the description down below. This is a really cool Corvette though, brand new 2020 Corvette C8. This is probably my second favorite Matchbox, second only to the Bugatti Diva. But let's open it up here. We're gonna have a look at it. We're gonna also see how it does in the boosters, loops, and curves, and race it against a couple similar cars. Here it is, 2020 Chevy Corvette. Pretty wide, actually. Like, as you guys can see from the front, it's pretty wide, just like the Devo. Not quite as wide as the Devo, but almost. It does fit on the track, thankfully. And there is a look at the engine in the back. This is the first mid-engine Corvette, and I am looking forward to more colors from this thing, because I am not a big fan of the blue on this car, but this is quite a detailed matchbox casting with those tail lights, like the Corvette license plate, even with those grill things right there, like the quad exhaust. Well, I guess it's a supercar, so that's pretty standard. And I like the Corvette logo on the front and how detailed those lights are. Grill's pretty cool looking too. Not the biggest fan of the wheels, wish they did those a bit differently. But other than that, this casting is absolutely amazing and I'm looking forward to seeing how it does on the track, which we'll find out right now. I'm not quite that sure how it'll do in the loops because it has that thing on the front that drags. But I am going to race it maybe against a Camaro, another Corvette, and maybe a Mustang. So we are going to see how well it does down the straight. Three, two, one. Came off the track. I'll redo that, and I forgot to turn the booster on. Okay, two more runs at max bump. Three, two, one, go. Barely made it, and he made it through one of the kickers. Probably not the best in the kickers, though. So the C8 is a bit better than the Devo. Okay, before we get to any other kind of racing, I do want to see how the C8 stacks up against the Devo in a drag race. Three, two, one, go. The D or C8 got it. Wow. That is fascinating to me. That the Remember how fast we were saying that the Devo was in the last video? Now the C8. So got it. the C8 is better down the track and on the drag strip than the Devo, but I do think that the Devo is the much better looking car and it's also the much more expensive car. But uh, I do feel like this C8 would be better value in real life. Okay, the first challenger for the C8 is going to be the GT500. I'm curious how well he'll stack up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And the C8 is just gone. That was a good race against the roller coaster after, don't worry. But the next car that we are going to be racing it up against will be the Camaro ZL1. We'll put the Camaro on the track, put the C8 on the track. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, that C8's gone. Okay, guys, C8 versus C7. Which is faster? Three, two, one, go. It's tight, but the C8, old, or new beats, kind of old, it's 2019, new beat, so 2020 beats 2019. Okay guys, that's it for today, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one, take care, peace out.